Okay, well we're just going to turn the unit on here by pressing the power button and the navigation system will turn on. You'll see the menu. Here's the menu and it will instantly search the uh, map software and turn that on. And that takes us to this uh, main menu and what we want to do is navigate to an address. So we'll click on with the stylus on locations. And we only have to enter a few letters of the street and the suburb to actually um, determine where we want to go. So let's say I wanted to go to uh, 56. I'll just type in 56. Go back to the letters and a space. Uh, Kitchener Road. So we'll go K I T C H. And we'll leave it at that. And it's in Ascot. So I'll just go A S. Click on the tick button. And instantly you can see that it searches out Kitchener Road Ascot. We simply click on the green button for that one and select whichever route we want, uh, fastest or shortest. So we'll click on leave it at fastest for the moment and select the green tick. If we want to navigate to somewhere that we've been before, we can choose uh, History down here. And this will bring up uh, several places that we may have been before. And we simply uh, click on the one that we want. And we can choose to start new navigation and so on. At our main menu we have several map options. We can choose night colours there. Uh, go back to day colours. Uh, we can choose a 2D perspective view or a 3D which I prefer. We can choose to toggle the sound on or off. Uh, we can select predetermined points of interest. Uh, we can select our favourites in locations and a range of other things including uh, changing settings, the backlight, the language, the units. Uh, this is an important one whether we use miles or kilometres and that applies to the display as well as the voice. Uh, we can choose the volume of the, of the voice. Uh, you can have route, uh, different types of route that we choose. We can avoid certain uh, motor, we can avoid motorways and we can turn that on or off. Um, changing settings, we can similarly avoid uh, various other uh, things. We can zoom in and out, we can turn that on or off, and that's when the map zooms in, that's when you're getting closer to locations. And we can select certain speeds, certain types of roads, and we can set the date of time and calibrate the screen. In this um, main menu section here too we can scroll down and also we can plan a route um, by setting departure locations we can choose locations we can choose home the office etc we can choose something from history and we can go through and uh, choose to uh, select a route via a certain location etc so this gives us quite a bit of flexibility in the way that we actually uh, plan our route. We can also here select uh, GPS information which gives us the latitude, longitude, the direction in degrees and our speed uh, and the time that's been set of course.